the wild frontier moved ever westward with law and order pressing hard upon its heels, the territory of the Southwest became the last refuge for desperate men wanted in more civilized areas of the East. Hunted men can sometimes live without the law, but they often cannot live at all without the expert help of a doctor of medicine. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. to wash in the parlor here yet and some straightening up to do upstairs. I'll probably be here all day. Did you hear about the bank robbery up in Elmira? Only what I see here in the headlines. Well, Sheriff Watson's deputized some men already, you know. He thinks the robbers are headed down this way for the border. <laughs> Not much news for a newspaper with you around, is it? Well, much goes on here in Rising Springs. It gets by us hired girls, Doctor. Well, land sakes, you call that lunch? That ain't enough to keep a bird alive. Oh, you doctors. You're all alike. You can tell other people what to eat and all, but you can't feed yourselves proper. I tell you what, your mama's cooking up a big pot of chicken and dumplings. And I'd be glad to bring you a bowl of, or would you like some tea? No, Dora, I just happened to remember I have to drop out to the Willoughby Ranch and check the Mrs. Rheumatism. Oh. Now. If you get through before I get back, there's some money in the sugar bowl. You take your wages, all right? Oh, thank you, Doctor. But now, speaking of rheumatism, my sister Sarah, second cousin Sam, he's been troubled terrible lately with his rheumatism. I'll, I told I'll, her, and I'd I'll speak to you about it. I told her you could sure do something. Look. Uh, bye, Doctor. Morning, Doc. Morning, Pat. Hey, Doc, you uh, heard about the Elmira bank robbery? Oh, a little here and there. One of the bandits was recognized, Zip Wyatt. Who? Wyatt. He was a member of Billy the Kid's gang, wanted for postal robberies and cattle mostly. Now it looks like he's turned into banks. There were two men with Wyatt. One of them was wounded during the getaway. That's where you come in, Doc. Me? They need a sawbones. If they're heading this way for the border, it might be you. Well, if I see any real rough-looking characters, you'll be the first one to know. Thanks again. See you, Doc. Good, he's sitting out of town. I just hope he's the doc. He saw a shingle in you. Who else could it be? Come on. Hello, doctor. Yes? You satisfied? Yeah. You need it over at the Trent place, Doc. Who are you? Well, that don't matter none. What do you say we just get going, huh? You insist. Just a second. Lift them coattails, Doc. Let's see if you're on. Bring your tools. Hello, Hobo. Come over here to see Uncle Zip. Doc, I'd like you to meet Hobo Trent. Wait, man. <laughs> Cute, ain't he? Funny thing, dogs and kids take up with me real quick. Inside, Doc. Just a minute, Doc. Be best for you if you don't get to thinking any heroic thoughts. There's three of us here all well armed, but nobody but Susie, Trent, and Hobo within sound of gunshot. All right, inside. Bedroom, Doc. Susie. 
these men. I know. There's your patient, Doc. Patch him up. still in there. It's up under the rib cage. I'll have to probe. You got something for easing the pain, Doc? Hate to see anybody suffer. Brandy. Nothing stronger. I thought you boys were supposed to be tough. Getting shot was all in a day's work. What's the matter? Are you scared? Of course he ain't scared. We'll show him what we might eat. You go right ahead, Doc. We'll show you how tough we are. We won't take nothing for that pain. Yeah, you're tough, all right. Tough like Billy the Kid. Remember, you got the same sheriff gunning for you, Pat Garrett. You'll all end up on a slab like Billy did. Get me a couple of pails of water on the stove, will you, Susie? Yes, Doctor. Look what I found in the doc's buggy, Zip. How about a snort? That's painkiller for Marty. Didn't you get any feelings, even for your own brother? Let me give you a hand, man. When you fill the pails, put them on the range. Trouble with you, Jace, is you ain't used to ladies. She sure showed you. <laughs> well, the bullet's out and there's no infection. He'll be all right. Can he ride? I wouldn't advise it for a couple of days. We can't hang around here. We gotta get moving along. Oh, you stop grumping, Jace. Getting a better shuffle here than we would on the road, we can rest. Susie can keep the snoopers away from the door. You don't make sense. What do you think is going to happen when Doc here don't report back home this evening? Nothing. Because the Doc is going to report back to town this evening. Do you understand that, Doc? I'm not sure I do. I'll make it plain. You're going back to town, and you ain't going to tell a soul where you've been. Because if you do, if a posse comes smoking up here before we get away, she gets the first bullet out of this. You can leave whenever you're ready, Doc. Back up against the wall, Doc. Susie, you better go out there and talk those two men away from here if you don't want them dead. Now go on. Hello, Trent. Anybody home? Good, good afternoon, boys. Well, hello, Mrs. Trent. Bob home? No, he isn't, Mr. Walker. He went up to Madison to buy some farm machinery. Farm machinery? On a cattle ranch? Bob quit cattle last year. Got tired of competing with the big beef combines. Didn't you notice our wheat field? It rode right past it. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't know wheat from whiskey if whiskey wasn't wet. Uh, we're looking for them three bank robbers. Sheriff deputized us this morning. Don't expect much to come of it, though, except maybe a sociable visit and a drink or two. You reckon we might get a little refreshment? Uh, the pump's right over there. You're, you're mighty welcome to use it. Thank you, ma'am. Not very hospitable, is she? Zip. Get back to bed. You'll bleed to death. Stay right where you are, Doc. Do what the doc says. Go back to bed. A couple of deputies snooping around. I told you, Doc. Oh, no. no heroics. That's enough. Help Marty. Give me a hand. You started bleeding again. Those are mighty pretty words you said over the dear departed, Doc. Well, get along towards sundown. Time for you to start heading home. Any of your thoughts, Doc? I'm just trying to figure out a way to get you and your friends killed. 
Nasty thoughts for a doctor. <laughs> no, it's not in you. I know you're kind of man, Doc. <laughs> man of honor, faith. Kind of a man who enjoys meeting people like the Trents at socials and coming out of church. You're no killer. Let me go, you animal! <laughs> You trying to spark up somebody that ain't willing? Don't you know you ain't no good that way? Go get the ducks, buggy. He's leaving. Push your luck, Doc. Come here, Bubba. I'm grateful for all the help I can, boys. Consider yourself duly sworn in and deputized. Are there are a couple of areas we haven't been able to cover as yet. Suppose you ride up along Stony Creek. You ought to be able to make it by dawn. If you see any sign of Wyatt or those other two, don't try to tangle with them yourselves. I tail it back here for help. That's all. Good luck. Doc, where'd you pop up from? You'd be surprised. I'm awful busy this evening, Bill. If you're looking for a checker game tonight, I just won't have time. No, no, go on with what you're doing. I don't want to interrupt anything. Those three bandits are giving me more trouble than I've had in months. I know they're down in this area. They've got to be. Why? Because they're still at large, and one of them's wounded. We've combed the Elmira area clean through. That's still not one good reason. All right, Doc. I'll tell you. I want to capture Zip Wyatt more than anything I've ever wanted. I'm up for territorial marshal this fall. If I could just bring this off. He'd make it with or without the capture. You're Pat Garrett, the man who got Billy the Kid. Probably the most famous lawman in the West. Popular, great sense of duty, scrupulous to a fault. Come off it, Doc. You sound like you're trying to butter me up. Are you? You might call it that. Well, if it's a favor, can't it wait? I'm afraid not. Pat. Zip Wyatt and the other two are out at the Bob Trent place. And one of them's wounded, like you said. And all the while you're sitting here hemming and hawing, let me through there, Doc. There's no hurry, Pat. They're not going anywhere, not just yet. They're holding Susie Trent as a hostage. It's a guarantee that I won't come to you for help. So you better sit down again, Pat, and give this a lot of thought before you go running out there and getting Susie Trent killed. And don't think they wouldn't do it. I helped them bury Walker and Smith this afternoon. Walker and Smith? That's exactly why I didn't tell you. I knew you'd fly off the handle. What are you suggesting I do, Doc? Sit here while I shoot down my men and ride away? No, but we can figure something out before we go rushing out there. They're expecting me back tomorrow to look at the wounded man. Do you intend to go? I don't have much choice. Doc, you're crazy. If you go back there, you'll never get out alive. Same goes for the girl. You're both witnesses. She's as good as dead already. You must know that. Why should you throw your life away, too? She's expecting me. It's that simple. Yeah. Tell me, the two men with him, you figure them for a lot of trouble? Plenty. They're hard cases, both of them. Especially one named Jace. Jace? Jace Logan? I never heard the last name. The other one, his name Marty? Yeah. Then they're the Logan brothers. They used to ride with Butch Cassidy's Jackson Hole gang in Wyoming. And they're plenty tough. Any ideas how we might take them, Bill? You know the Trent place? No, I've never been there. Well, it's a typical ranch house, living room and bedroom. Now, I've been thinking if I could get into the bedroom with the wounded man and Susie, and then somehow slam the door on the other two and bar it. Is this a barred door? 
Yes, I made sure of that. The house was built during the Apache raids. The bedroom was a stronghold. Heavy shutters and doors. You know something, Bill? If you hadn't become a doctor, I think you'd have made a pretty good lawman. I like your strategy. Doc's coming, Zip. I watched him from the barn. He must have kept his word. Nobody with him. This is about as close to the ranch house as we can get without being seen. We'll wait here for the signal. He'll be all right to travel. If you walk the horses. Well, what do you say, kid? I want to get out of here. If you're set on traveling, I'll have to tighten this bandage so he'll get some comfort. Susie can help me. Why don't you two saddle the horses? Nice of you to be so obliging this morning, Doc. Hope you don't mind, though, if I make a little switch in the arrangements. I'll help you with Marty. Susie will go out to the barn with Jason help with the horses. Come on, Susie. Provisions the doc brought. Put them in those saddlebags. Where are you going? That saddlebag's too small for all the provisions. I'm going to get another one. Time to say goodbye. Don't come any closer. Why, you little. took the smoke as my signal to move in. What's your money? on Trent's place to fight the fire. The pursuit of the notorious outlaw Zip Wyatt was delayed while Sheriff Watson and his deputies helped fight a dangerous prairie fire. Doc, you need it over here! Susie, over here with that water!
Once the fire was under control, the sheriff sent the wounded outlaw back to town under guard and took up the chase. I had a personal interest in the killer's capture and rode along. Zip took to the hills where he carefully picked rocky terrain to hide his tracks. There was only one thing he'd overlooked. <laughs> If it hadn't been for the little dog, we'd lost him hours ago. Got it this time, Hobo. A little water. There you are, boy. That's what I mean. Come on. There you are. We'll make it all right. I left a long way behind by now. The devil. Backtrack, see if we can pick up the trail again. chance of him getting away from us in these rocks. Yeah. All right, let's spread out. Good as new. There you go, fella. He doesn't seem very grateful, does he? I'm afraid it's going to take him longer than a couple of days to get over his hurt, Doctor. Come here, I want to show you something. Here's where he sits all day long, waiting. For zip. I guess no matter how bad a man is, I, I mean, the, there must have been some good there that, that Hobo could see. Do you know what I mean, Doctor? What you mean, Susie, is that you're a brave girl and your husband's a mighty lucky man. Tell him hello for me when he gets home, will you? Mm -hmm. 